Hello everyone, welcome back to another new video. Today I will be showing you another brilliant chess puzzle with the longest force checkmates and king hunt so far. In the following position, white is down a piece, but black's king is in a very dangerous situation due to the open h file. However, the e7 square is available to black's king, and while moving the knight on c5 away with tempo to attack d6 seems very strong for white but black can first deflect white's rook on h1 and then play pawn to f4, shutting off the attack from white's queen, and black has the advantage in the resulting endgame with two pieces for a rook. It may seem that this is white's best choice in the starting position, but this is not the case, as white can play the brilliant move rook to h8 check anyway. After king to e7, white eliminates the key defender of the d6 square with the exchange sacrifice rook takes e8 check, and after king takes rook, white's second rook can also join the attack on h8 with check. But after king to e7, it seems that black's king is completely safe behind the wall of pawns in the center, and with white having no pawns on the king side, it seems that white is completely lost. However, this is again all just an illusion, as white can force black's king deep into the lower half of the board starting with the amazing queen sacrifice queen takes d6 check. After king takes queen, white can play knight to b7 with a double check, forcing black's king to move to the center. Because knight to d3 check allows king to e4 knight to c5 check king to f3 and black's king will escape, white's bishop must also join the attack with bishop to d6 check. And after king to e4 knight to c5 check, white's knight on e1 and the bishop forms an invisible barrier around black's king, forcing king to e3. With white's king controlling d2, white can play rook to h3 check king to f2 knight c to d3 check, and because king to f1 simply allows rook to h1 mate, black plays king to g1, expecting white to play rook to g3 check to force a perpetual. But white having already seen all the way to the end before playing the first move, plays knight to f3 check. Since king to g2 is now met by rook to g3 check, after which king to f1 or h1 are both met by rook to g1 checkmate, black plays king to f1. After rook to h1 check king to g2, black is forking white's rook and knight, but after rook to g1 check, king to h3 is met by rook to g3 mate, and after king takes f3, White plays rook to g3 check, and thanks to black's rook on e2 plus the coordination between white's three remaining pieces, black's king is forced back to the center with king to e4. With white's rook now controlling the entire third rank, white can finally finish off the king hunt on the 14th move of the puzzle with knight to c5 checkmate. An elegant forced checkmate that involves the enemy king going all the way from one side of the board to the other then back to the center. If you want to see more brilliant chess puzzles be sure to like and subscribe for more. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.